Ugh, that's terrible. That's... Java, Joe, that sweet nectar of the gods. Prepare yourself because these myths are about to get roasted. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Myths, the series that finds the biggest myths that people actually believe and dispels them one by one. In today's installment, we'll be counting down the five myths about coffee that left us being boozled. Are you kidding? Oh, black? Jug, 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 Myth number five, coffee will sober you up. I'll just have a cup of coffee. Beer it is. No, I said coffee. Beer. So you've had a great night out with some friends, but now you're starting to feel the effects and pay the price for a wee bit too much alcohol. Time to fire up a nice hot pot of coffee, right? Would you like some boiling hot coffee? Your face. Well, it may taste good, but that cup of joe isn't going to do anything to alleviate the negative effects associated with intoxication. The caffeine in coffee may make you feel more alert with regards to motor function, but that's about it. It doesn't do anything to assist the body in filtering out any alcohol. What's worse is that the jazzed feeling associated with the caffeine buzz may lead you to think that you're sobering up, when all you really need is some time and proper hydration. <coughs> coffee, please, it's coffee. Myth number four, coffee will help you lose weight. I, I think we're gonna have to cut you off, sir. The next myth on our list has been around for a while. The theory that drinking coffee can assist the body shedding a few excess pounds. I'm finishing my coffee. Granted, there is a very slight increase in the body's metabolism with coffee, but not enough to promote any sort of noticeable weight loss. Drinking a few cups of java for dinner may serve as a slight and temporary appetite suppressant, but humanity can't live on coffee alone, and at some point, proper food will have to be on the menu. Put that coffee down. Besides, adding excess caffeine to your diet may just lead to the jitters, so keep the cups black if you can, or at the very least keep track of any milk or sugar calories you're adding to the mix. A lot of sugar. Myth number three, coffee stunts your growth. Where did you get this? Who taught you how to use this thing? You, all right? This one is another old wives tale with absolutely no scientific evidence to support it. The roots of coffee stunting one's growth are likely associated with the caffeine found within coffee rather than the beverage itself, with the idea that children drinking joe at an early age would be at risk of osteoporosis. A Crichton University study researched the effects of caffeine and lowered bone density within both children and the elderly, with one commonality being the lack of a calcium-rich diet. So the takeaway then is this. Coffee itself won't stunt your growth, but if you're not getting the proper amounts of calcium, then drinking excessive caffeinated beverages isn't going to do your bones any favors. Gross, right? Yeah, it's an acquired taste that I just acquired. Myth number two, the darker the roast, the stronger the buzz. Many coffee enthusiasts might point at the stronger, bolder taste of dark brewed coffees as evidence for its increased caffeine content. It's a drug. It is quite literally a drug that speeds people up. This is only a myth, however, as dark roast blends actually have less caffeine than their light brewed counterparts. The reasoning behind this has to do with the style of coffee bean used for the roast. Arabica beans are commonly found in coffee shops and possess a high quality taste as opposed to the robusta beans, which make up for their lack of flavor with a high burst of caffeinated power. So that dark roast at Starbucks may taste like a million bucks, but it isn't really adding any more caffeine to your day than the average quickie cup of light roast coffee at your local gas station or mini mart. I buy the gourmet expensive stuff because when I drink it, I want to taste it. Myth number one, coffee dehydrates you. So here's the deal behind this popular myth. Coffee is prepared with water and you're drinking it with every cup. Just drink, I like it. I know, that's great, right? Another! <laughs> It's true that caffeine can occasionally possess a diuretic effect in some people. In other words, it makes you want to pee, but there's actually no scientific evidence connecting moderate coffee consumption with fluid loss. In fact, the University of Birmingham conducted a study in 2014, which tracked the hydration of individuals who drank only coffee before switching it out for an equal amount of H2O. The results found that the caffeine found in coffee did nothing to affect the body's level of hydration, although drinking plenty of water is still the best way to rehydrate without the restlessness or jitters excessive caffeine can cause on the body during sleep time. Still, the myth that coffee dehydrates you is just that, a myth. I think I can hear my hair growing, especially the bangs. Hey, maybe that's why they call them bangs. Hey, keep it down. So how many of these myths did you believe? C O B A. For more dark roasted top 10s and metabolizing top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You been up all night? Of course I've been up all night! Not because of caffeine, it was insomnia. I couldn't stop thinking about coffee. I need a nap. <laughs> coffee time! <laughs>